Alrighty, howdy doody. Uh, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? So, um, I was thinking about yesterday how I was talking to uh, my my landlord, owner, <clears throat> owner of my house, kind of a situation. Uh, I was talking to them. They had just gone for a, like a month long travel journey trip, um, kind of all across America a little bit. Um, so they were kind of going everywhere to Canada even, and they were just kind of talking about how coming back to civilization is kind of weird because they were out in the in the middle of nowhere in Moab and in the forest and in you know national forest and they were kind of out in the boonies a little bit right and so they had limited contact with with other people um, for a while anyway they were saying and we kind of just got to talking about how it's just it's weird when you go from from that place of of where there's no one there back to a big city like Fort Collins and Fort Collins isn't even really that big of a city um, to me, it feels big. I, I'm not a good city person. Uh, I, I don't really do the whole city, big city thing. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but the the whole point, though, is that going from that that difference, you know, from um, from no being around nobody to coming back to a, a relatively large city, and how it's just kind of a weird thing. And I was also just sort of thinking about to myself. I didn't mention this, but um, I didn't, I didn't mention this to her. Um, but just how it's kind of a weird thing how. When you go to a really big city like Berlin or Denver, um, which are you know different differently sized, but just big congested cities is the point. Um, when you when you're in a place like that, you kind of start to realize that people um, they'll, they'll kind of just like take other people for granted um, and, and even be rude to them. Either, either they'll they'll ignore them because there's so many people with you know around you all the time that you kind of just start to. You know, you become blind to them almost. Um, and it's like it's kind of like anything, right? If you if you're exposed to this thing for so long and so frequently and so consistently, then eventually you kind of just start to, you know, you just forget that it's even there, right? I mean, there's sometimes where you'll be like walking in a house and you'll see one thing um, a thousand times, and it's just it's just there now. And then you know, someone might ask you. Well, where, where is that thing? And you're like, ooh, I don't even really know. I, I haven't even really thought about that. But you've seen it a thousand times, right? So you start to kind of lose this um, this ability to, well, you, you, you become blind, I think, is kind of the whole point. Um, it's an interesting thought, though, because <clears throat> um, when, you, when you go out in the boonies, right, and you're with nobody, then you come back, it's, it's kind of, it's overwhelming, it's stressful, it's kind of intense, right, um, when you come back to a city and... Um, I'm officially losing track of where I was going with all this, but I guess it's just gonna, the whole the whole idea though of um, the whole idea of you know I'm tempted to stop the video and just like rethink what I'm thinking, but you know what you, you can you can you can kind of just like watch me think for a second, right? You can kind of just be part of my my thought process, which might end fairly quickly. <laughs> For all we know, this might be a really short video. Um, I also noticed, by the way, that my, my earlier videos were, were significantly shorter than what the ones I've been making now, which is interesting, because um, at first, um, I, I think that I felt, I mean, obviously, much more uncomfortable with, with making videos and just talking to a camera, even though it's just like me talking to, you know, there's, there's not many viewers out there on this channel so far. Um, I'm, not, I'm not talking to like 10,000 people or a million people or two, five, 10 million people. I'm talking to like one or three, one, two, three, four people. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's not really, I'm not, there's no big audience, but I still think that it makes it more real to make these videos. But I was just kind of thinking about though, um, how um, my earlier videos were, you know, two, maybe three minutes long. And the videos I've been doing lately, hang on. Um, lately have been have been a lot longer and I guess that's just part partially me getting more comfortable with with speaking um, and that was the whole goal of these videos right was to find my voice that was um, from unstoppable influence um, Natasha Hazlitt right so that was that was her whole challenge the whole mission with these videos was to find my voice um, and I don't know that that's happened yet you know I've still got a ways to go I still have I'm about halfway done a little past halfway done now I think I'm at like 50. Uh, two, I want to say. So um, I, I've made a lot of videos, you know, I've made a lot of progress, I feel like. And I think that I've kind of figured out a little bit um, how to speak better and how to figure out 
uh, you know, what to say and, and the, and the right, you know, the, the format of, of certain sentence sentences. Um, of course, now, now I start to stutter and get all these sentences weird when, as soon as I start talking about it. Um, but I don't know. It's kind of an interesting thing, this whole video thing. I, I think it is useful because, because what she was saying in the book was you can't find your voice if you don't use it. Um, and so she, her whole thing was, you know, we're trying to find, um, but I've really navigated away from my original topic, but, um, her whole thing was, yeah, you have to, you have to use your voice in order, uh, and so you can find it. So you, you're not going to know, um, you're not going to find your voice if you don't use it, is what she was saying. And, um, that's what I've been, so, you know, she was thinking, I guess her whole, the, the backing or, or the, the platform from where she was coming from, um, was she wants you to be an influencer, right? That's what the whole book is about, is being, being an unstoppable influencer. Um, that's the whole point of the book. And I don't know how much I... That's a red light. No! Uh, I, I don't know how much I'd like to be an influencer necessarily. Potentially? I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but these videos, I, I feel like, are kind of providing me a good way to at least just talk about lessons that I've been experiencing throughout my, my day-to-day basis, right? Um... You know, a lot of things happen in one day. So my, my goal day to day is just to is to hit an 18 hour mark of, of being awake and conscious. So I have I've been kind of following the, the Gary Vaynerchuk method, right? So 18 hours awake, six hours of sleep, and that to me usually works. That's that's usually plenty. Um, sometimes I get a little less than that even, uh, which I feel like anything less than six I feel like is a little short. You know, it's not not great. Um, but you know, I, I do pretty well, and that's one thing that's so satisfying is when you're when you're up and at them. You know, when you're up and awake for that long during the day, um, you you're exhausted by the end of the day usually, and you can fall asleep in like record time. It's pretty cool, you know. To me, it's so satisfying to be that exhausted from from doing things. I, I really um, take pride and satisfaction in that. Um, I, I just love the feeling of being being tired and being exhausted and fatigued after doing things that I am passionate about, right? So like after working out, I, I love that feeling after I get a workout of, okay, you know, you did good good work. You you went to the gym. You're, you're getting in better shape now. Um, you're you're f- further ahead than where you were, right? You, you've made progress. Um, so either that or climbing or just being outside or or you know researching whatever it might be uh, ed- educational things or reading books i mean there's i just like that feeling of being tired after doing something that matters to me um i don't really know how I, how i got here to this part of the conversation um the original point was that people take people for granted oh wow oh wow bloody heck um so i guess i can kind of loop back to that main point and um just kind of go over you know uh, well, it's already been over. It's already been gone over, I suppose. But uh, I guess just maybe pay attention to that. Once you go to bigger cities, everyone's kind of crabby, and they don't really appreciate people anymore. They get pissed off at people much more readily, much more easily. Um, where if you're like a small mountain town of you know four thousand people or, or five thousand people, um, then it feels it seems like everyone loves everyone. Like there's a whole different mindset to the to treating. Um, the public, really. I mean, when I went to Berlin with my sister, uh, Berlin, Germany, we we just noticed that everyone, and it's very possible that it's because we were these tourists, these white tourists that didn't know anything, and we were just being buttholes, or I don't know. Um, that's a possibility. But we just noticed that the bigger cities, full of commerce and stress and things and stuff, and just uh, uh, congestion and smog and buildings and construction, all this stuff, I think... It, it certainly has an effect on people. Um, and so we saw that. I mean, we, we noticed that uh, very, let's see, we noticed that um, powerfully, I guess. Sure. Um, we, we saw a very powerful sense of people um, and people being crabby in bigger cities and having that all of that crap around them, that how that affected their life. We, we got to see that and we got to see um, different cities and how that worked with different people. And, you know, it was kind of interesting. Um, <coughs> I do think big cities though are, are, are kind of poisonous. You know, there's just, there's just too much crap going on in cities. I just, I think it's unhealthy for a, at least a long period of time. It's unhealthy. Um, I think you've got to unplug 
and kind of um, and jump back to your roots a little bit and just go out in nature for a while and just be calm and, and be and, and listen to the, listen to nothing like listening to a river or listening to just like the wind it's like oh it's so refreshing because you don't really get that in a city it's just constant bombardment of of bullshit <laughs> um I, I just don't like it that much i mean it's fine for you know however long um but you gotta i think you gotta unplug and, and find some space and time um so anyway i think that's the end of the video uh, i deviated quite a bit there but you know what that's okay um, cause there was, there's no plan. There is no itinerary. There's no, uh, guidelines here. I can kind of say whatever I want, right? I could talk about the road. I could talk about the tree. I could talk about puzzles. You know, I could talk about anything in the world. It doesn't matter. Um, there's, there's no guidelines here. So anyway, um, I'm done talking now. Roger out.